welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lana. And it's your boy, oh. Stanley. Oh. Coming in here with not love and hip hop. Why I do this every week? <laughs> love and marriage, Huntsville. Yes. The love boat. Let's go ahead and get this out the way because a whole, a whole lot of y'all, when y'all find out that we have a lifestyle vlogging channel, y'all get a little mad with us because we don't actually advertise it on this channel. Life With Us TV is actually our main channel. Yeah. It's where we <clears throat> are when we're not over here. That's where you can follow us where we're doing everything from living, cooking, ranting, traveling, doing all the stuff that we do in our normal day-to-day -day life. So if that's yeah. your thing and you want to come over and just find out a little bit more about us, mm -hmm. the channel will be linked in the description field below. If that's not your thing, then just stay over here. Yep. Either way, we get you. We good with we it, man. We good it. with it. But um, go ahead and get some skit out the way that's been going on in the comment section. I don't know if some of y'all been new to our channel and all that good stuff, but uh, when we do these reviews, we don't take this skit like seriously, like yeah. to the point where we researching people's stuff, where we nah. taking what they say as the truth, the law. We we take it at face value. We say what we gotta say, and we move the buck. Yeah, <laughs> this is a hobby. We just take what the show gives us or whatever the cast give us and bring it to y'all. That's it. Yeah, we not that invested. No. We, so no. We got we got our own life we got to worry about. <laughs> I ain't got time yeah. to be researching nobody else's life. Man. Yeah, so a lot of people was like, so y'all have a bias with um, Tisha and Marceau. I was like, no, uh -huh. we really don't. But no. what had happened was we started seeing some things that just didn't add up. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason that Marceau felt comfortable enough to actually share his five-year plan with us. Exactly. It wasn't because now that we had the five-year plan, we've eased up. Mm -hmm. No, no, we eased up on him beforehand. Now, do we agree with everything that no. Marso does? No. No. I no. think he needs to be more hands-on with his children, mm -hmm. know more about them, especially the fact that one of them had an allergy, a peanut allergy. That's freaking serious. Yeah. But at the same freaking time, we have to realize that scripted TV is what it is. Exactly. So we, we don't, don't really know. know. We don't really know what he does. Yeah. And he um, could be okay with them reading <clears throat> into this fact that he is, he's a show for this. Yeah. And that could be something that they agreed upon. Well, he got this. Don't don't let people know that you know he got it. We don't know this. But, but I can say this that from what he said in the last episode when when she asked him to you um to help, he said you want me to help the kids get the kids packed. So that lets you know that he does something. That he, that he does do something with the kids. We just don't know the level, so we can't judge him on that. But we just only judge him what we see yeah. on the show. <laughs> yeah. And oh y'all, y'all remember I was um, joking about um. Marceau's, uh, not Marceau, uh, Maurice's ex-wife, Monster's mama, having that um, $600 wedding. <laughs> she came through on Instagram, y'all. <laughs> I'm glad she was a good sport about it. Yeah, she, she was. was. like, first of all, <laughs> we had a nice wedding mm -hmm. out there in Detroit, and I had a custom gal. I said, but it still won't a yacht. Yeah. <laughs> But it's cool, it's cool. That's all good. It's it all in fun. It's all in fun. It's Don't all in fun. Yeah, seriously. it's all in fun. Yeah, when you get serious, yeah, you might well go. You take the fun out you of it. You might well go and unsubscribe and find somebody else mm -mm. That, that, that floats your boat. Yeah, because this ain't it. But this week, though. Yeah. This week, okay, we're coming off of... <laughs> We we coming <laughs> off of the strip party. Let's just go ahead and call it like that. Man, that strip party was epic. Y'all, man, y'all just... Y'all let it all hang out. It no, yeah, it was no. them that were epic. Now the only one that that looked conservative was Marshall. Ain't that the? Yeah, he was he was the one to try to keep the fellas together. He he wanted them to stay married the next day. <laughs> and all the rest of them, they just they was out there. They was gone. But this what I appreciate. Now that all the men got back together with their wives the next day or wife to be, what you do last night? Oh da 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 da. Yeah, they came down to Maurice and Kimmy. He was like, you know, everything was the a blur. The blood's a blur. He won't lie. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, all that tequila he was drinking, straight from the bottle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Kimmy was like, so you mm. mean to tell me you don't remember Skit? You ain't danced with nobody? He was like, oh. nah, I ain't dancing. Maybe nah. some people were dancing around. She said, Murray's basically cut the Skit. I know, I know you. you. You a dancer. So all I know is they had to say, don't stop, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> and you was out there doing the butterfly. He said, you know what? <laughs> yeah. And I love the fact that you can tell that they're actually friends with each other. Because he yeah. was like, you got me. Yeah. I was out there wilding the hell out Cause she said, night. She said, she said, okay, so I'll just go ahead and wait for the video to come out to get all the truth. Then he was like, nah, yep. I was out there. <laughs> Doing the most with the least. Go there trying to choke people after the dump. 
And then we got um, Martel. Martel is over there with Melody. <sighs> they are exhausting me. And they were the couple that I thought that I would actually like the most, to be honest with you. Yeah, they look like they, it, it appeared that they had most of their, their stuff together. And I'm not saying they don't, but yeah. this, I don't know. I, I would say about them, I, they are a pretty cool couple with me. Mm -hmm. I, I just think they just, if they have that, I think they really need marital counseling because this cheating has gone like crazy in their marriage. And it's like two years later and it's almost like it's still fresh. So we believe that he's still cheating. We don't know. No. And you know, Nobody there are know. signs according to what the show shows, but we still don't know. But yeah, they definitely need to see somebody to mediate that because Mel won't stop talking about it. Yeah. He, he's tired of hearing about it, but he can't he be it. he can't be tired of hearing about it because you the one that did it. So Yeah, you created that. Yeah, what they say as long as you messed up, you take that plus more to build back the trust mm. that you lost. Yeah, so she's trying to get out of him, you know, what happened last night. And, of course, he's like, yeah, you know, I didn't do too much. You know, this, that, the third, whatever. And they're still having their same old... I'm not even going to regurgitate the stuff that they were saying to each other. Because I'm going to get on them a little later. So, then you got um, Marcel over there with a tish. She was like, okay, did you buy any bottles, some um, drinky drinks? For the girls. For some girls. Now, I understood this what the hell he was saying. I bought bottles. I, bought I had bottle. bottle service. So everybody was drinking. Everybody. Yeah. So what you want me to do if the girls thought they were going to come over there? Like, you nope, know, y'all ladies, you. you can't drink. Yeah, you can't do that. That would have that would have turned into a whole nother thing, man. It was. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's it still is a fine line that if she wanted to file fault with what he did, she has a right to do so. But at the same time, I get what he was saying. I bought the bottles. Everybody. Until the bottles are gone, I don't give a skit who's, who's drinking, drinking the them. bottles. Yeah. As long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing while the bottles are being poured up. Yeah. That's not my freaking problem. And like he said, I, I did it for my brother. You know, that was, you know. That was his night. Yeah. But, okay, so now we're getting together with the family. Everybody don't got flued in. Flued in? Got flued <laughs> in. And they're having a, like a pre-wedding dinner or was it breakfast? Yeah, whatever. Meet up. Yeah. And everybody's, you know, kind of getting to know each other. And this is what I thought was kind of strange, but maybe it's not. Everybody's family dynamic isn't the same. But um, Maurice's mom and Kimmy's mom had never been together where they've, like, had conversation yeah. face to face. And I thought that was kind of strange because they've been together, what, they said over seven years? Mm -hmm, something like that. So within seven years, y'all haven't had a family function where all of the you know, your immediate family has come together and, you know, done anything at the house yeah. on vacation. Now, I do understand that just because we like each other and don't. we get together don't mean that the parents automatically oh, fall mm -hmm. into each other's lives. We do get that, exactly. but no conversation. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of strange, y'all. It's all kind of strange. Yeah. But, um, everybody comes in. Everybody's introducing the people that don't know each other to each other, which I thought was pretty cool. Letitia's mom decided that she was going to get flu flued out <laughs> and come on to Miami was her first <clears throat> flight mm -hmm. because she loves Maurice and Kimmy so much. I thought that was really cute. Yeah, that was nice. But yeah. mama came with the skits. Yeah, she, yeah. Mama came she with came the skits. She came with guns smoking on. She just went straight at Marceau. Like, so, Marceau, this is what he said. I can attest to what he said. He didn't have his wedding ring on. Mm -hmm. Marceau said, when I drink, I swell. I'm the exact same way. If I drink anything, even wine, my fingers swell. Mm -hmm. I have to take my skits off. He didn't have his ring on. Mama decided that she was going to make this her moment, her 15 minutes of fame. She didn't give a up <laughs> what y'all felt about it. Marceau. Where is your, your ring? ring? So did you lose your ring on the strippers as well? Because we already got to the point where he don't told them how much money that he spent the whole what, what, $1,200? Uh-huh, on bottle service at night. That's still a whole lot. Because he said he bought six bottles. You bought more than six bottles. They was like hella expensive wine. I'm not wine, liquor. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so what else had happened? Now, so now Mel, she's on her skit. Mel thought that this was a great <laughs> part to try to get out of the guys. What happened? What 
happen. She don't really give a buck about what happened with the other guys. She you wants to know, know what, what her what man Martel did. Martel did, yep. And she brought up this. She said, one of y'all went live last night while y'all were drunk. <laughs> so do you rather confess to me what y'all did or wait until we go ahead and view the footage? Now, Mel, I ain't even trying to be funny. Women do that, Skip. Women will get toe out the frame and just go live for no yep. freaking reason at all. So you think she was bluffing them, man? Oh, yeah, she was bluffing. She was bluffing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because that, that's Cause Maurice mean. was like, I know I ain't go live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You remember that time my friend went live? Yeah. At the Super Bowl party? Yeah. Didn't remember it? I was like, somebody call her, please, please. Yeah, it was, please it was, do it. It was epic. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It went, it went down real quick. <laughs> yeah, and she didn't even know it she, uh, till the next day. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you know, we got to her by then. But damn it, everybody done saw it by then. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So the guys was like, you know what? We ain't do skit. You know, this, that, the third. They moved on. Getting to the wedding. It decided it was going to rain like never. Before. But you mom, it rained like that on them one of our wedding too. It, it, was, showed, it was throwing down. Just like did. Kimmy said, you couldn't. It was black outside. Rain was falling. I was like, oh man, this ain't going to be good. It was, it was terrible. Yeah. It was terrible. <clears throat> then an hour before the wedding, it was like it never no, happened. Never even happened. Yep. So we had that same experience, but we were on land. Yeah, we were on, on a yacht. It <laughs> was going to be on a yacht. Yeah. So I love their wedding planner. She was like, you know what? We're going to set everything up with the contingency that if we got to move stuff around real quick, there's not going to be a delay. There's not going to be, you're not going to be able to tell that this wasn't intentional. Exactly. So homegirl was talking to the captain, was like, you know, is there a window of opportunity where we can actually sail here, get the ceremony done, come back in? Boom. They saw some sun. We headed that way. Let's go. They went up there and they had a gorgeous gorgeous yeah it was real nice. ceremony yeah and i loved how they said we don't have any groomsmen or bridesmaids yeah because we made all of you all wear white because you are a part of this wedding party yeah i know i've seen I about do that it. yeah i've seen a, it but i didn't hear it idea. explained like that know. well you would know that y'all y'all yeah, research that kind of stuff we just show up basically and say i do yeah. <laughs> it was really really nice um the only part i said i said Somebody please fix my girl's strap right here. Cause it was twisted. I said, Lord, it's so beautiful. I said, see, that's when you get the bridesmaids and they be like, <clears throat> and they straighten you right on out real quick. <laughs> but beautiful. Yeah. Reception was lit. Yep. They looked like they had a really good time. Mm -hmm. It was time to sit down and have dinner and whatnot. And here come Letitia's mama. With the skits. Again. The bush get again. Again. She's on Marceau's hum pot. Now, I do like how Marceau handles his mother-in-law. Yeah. He won't say anything. Yeah. That's a, that's that's wise. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, wise. That, that comes wise. with a whole lot of skit. <laughs> yeah. That's wise. <laughs> you yeah. have learned that from somewhere. Yeah. So, he was like, me and my mother. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know how they say silence is golden? Yeah. That's basically what it is. So, she's still on. Where's your ring? Now, Marceau, where the hell was your ring? We don't have a whole ceremony. Drink some water, let that swelling go down. Where's your guy doing ring at this point? <laughs> now, I say this. If his wife ain't handling him about the ring, well, leave him alone. You she won't be concerned about it. Yeah. Because now, you making her look <clears throat> some kind of way. That's your daughter. Don't do that. And they was embarrassed, too. You could tell that they was embarrassed. Yeah. yeah they was <laughs> so, but I love what Kimmy said. Kimmy said, you know what? The, the most important person that's sitting at this table right here has a ring. Yep. So all of that. Yeah, we ain't talking about none of that. The focus this is back is my on day. us. This is our day. Yes, yeah, so I like how she reflected that. Yeah. Yeah. So mama, calm down. Mm -hmm. But you know who mama remind me of? Smokey's mama from Friday. Yeah. Make it enough. <laughs> mama, what the hell is this? Make it enough. Ooh. So, have you ever had that couple? I know y'all have them in y'all lives. No matter where y'all go, no matter what y'all do, they're there, yeah. but they're not there. Yeah. That is Martel and Melody. Melody. I would say, I would say more Melody this time yeah. because Mar uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Martel wanted to party. He was ready to party. He was like, this ain't the time to be talking about this problem. That's why I was, I was like, why, why are we choosing a wedding now at the wedding? We're supposed to be celebrating 
uh, Kimmy and, and Maurice, but nah, that wasn't the time. So she decides, you know what, we need to go and we need to walk away and we need to talk. We've learned more yeah. about this relationship. So one a year. It was, it was two, two years. years that he was messing with old girl. And um, she just didn't have one or two run-ins with this chick. This chick was comfortable into checking Melody. On speakerphone. And, and, Mar and, and she was mad because Martel, Martel didn't, didn't say nothing. Didn't back his wife up. It was kind of like, <laughs> y'all duke it out. <laughs> yeah, that's on y'all. Melody said, when you don't got me so that I'm rolling up on this girl going to her place. At 2 a.m. in the morning. And he was like, I didn't tell you to do that. He's so cavalier about the skit that he's put this woman through that I'm like, throw the whole marriage away. Yeah. Now, that's yeah. easy for me to say because I know what my level of tolerance is. But at this point, it's so exhausting to see a female be so unhappy to the point where she can't enjoy anything because if she can't keep her eyes on him at that given moment, she's wondering what What's, he's what he doing. doing. Yeah. But it go back to like what I was telling you off uh, probably was about a month ago. From the outside looking in, we'll say, okay, you may you need to end this, but we don't really see what Martel really brings to her life. I know on the show we seeing all the negative, so mm -hmm. I wish that they would balance that out. Yeah, and let us see. I know the, it's not all the, this. Yeah, to see the good. What's what's keeping her present? What's making her stay there and fight? Because for us, it's like okay. He looks nonchalant when she confronts him. He tell her, oh, when she asked, when she asked him, said, what, what, what made you do all this? He was like, well, she had on a nice outfit, and, you know, the right time, and da da da, 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 da and it just happened. And she was like, well, but I, we, were, everything was going good for us. We was having sex, we were touching, That's we, you know, we saw the butterflies in the sky. Everything was perfect. So it's, now you just crossed me up now, like now, this. Yeah. So what? So what was it? So what's if if, if this is the case? What's keeping, what's, what, what is he doing to make you fight? I would love to know. Yeah. And I mean, it could be the longevity thing. They've been together for a good little minute and a half. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if they're going to be years like this. Yeah. Is it even worth it? Yeah. But like you said, we get a concentrated version of what's going on. Mm -hmm. I wish they would balance that out. Yeah. Because balance it's exhausting. Out. Yeah. At a time like this, to be honest, you could have made this whole episode about the wedding, everybody coming together, the aftermath of the um, the bachelor and the bachelorette party. Let's have a wedding, mm -hmm. and then we go into the skits on the next episode. But all of this, every time we with our our crew, this is what's going down. Mm -hmm. We throwing shots at each other about your cheating. Yeah. People bringing up the cheating. Mm -hmm. I mean, we learning more about this cheating as it go on. God darn. But you know, we ain't hearing no more about the comeback group, so it looked like they're gonna be kind of going back into that again. Yeah, um, where the house is at? <laughs> yeah, the houses and all the that. The reason we here. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm about <laughs> sick of this. And then at the end of it, they were like, you know what, let's go back down to the reception and let's party. I was like, that's what y'all should have been anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's what y'all should have been, yeah, so. I yeah. said, I said, um, y'all on the yacht, just acrimony is hind parts. Did they throw Didn't him on board? Yeah. Acrimony him. <laughs> Just do it. God darn it. Lord have mercy. But I do agree. Like that whole thing with Martell and this lady don't seem like it's over. Yeah, it don't. And even like next week's preview, the um guys was with Martell and they was like, Your wife has one foot out of the, the marriage and you got two phones. Yeah. What's up with that, bruh? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And I know we've been seeing a whole lot of them hanging out with the A-list celebs, the Sean Diddy's and um, mm -hmm. the Beyonce's and all of that. That's cute. That's cute to get home. <laughs> I'm one of them people that skit don't impress me. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. everything. Yes. Real peace, not fake peace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I like them and I want them to win. Yeah. But my for sure. God, but both of them got to have to be in the fight. Mm-hmm. He can't be doing what the hell he want to do and treating it like, and this is what I hate because it reminds me of that old school skit 
what goes on in this house stays in this house. house. Yeah. He was like, I don't care if my <laughs> don't been around it to a thousand women. Mm -hmm. That stays in the house. No. That principle only applies when no. the stuff actually happens with physically within the house. Like I went out and I mismanaged the money or well, I can't think of another example. Don't even know. <laughs> right. But the moment that you went out and you slept with somebody else out there that in the public, the you made it public. That's public information right there. And like she said, I'm pretty sure you done, you done bucked this chick. A whole lot of people are, you think she gonna keep her mouth shut yeah. about sleeping with you? Nah, she done definitely went out and told some other people. Matter of fact, she might have done posted it on her Instagram. Yeah. It might even be on YouTube. Matter of fact, it might even be on X video. Hmm. Hey. Shoot, shoot me, shoot me, um, a DM chick. <laughs> let me stop. Cause I don't really be expecting people to be dropping us stuff. But let me tell you, we've been doing videos like this for what? About two, three years now? Yeah. Do y'all know the plugs that people be sending us? Mm -hmm. The stuff that people send us? These ain't the first castmates that they reached out, out to us, us now. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. This don't go to our head. That's right. And <laughs> we never gonna we never gonna be biased. If yeah, you, we're not gonna be biased. Yeah, we That's gonna really why they do it. Yeah. Because they're like, okay, y'all yeah. can see the forest through the trees sometimes. And y'all can see what skid dog pretty much add up. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. But I loved it. Yeah. But other than that, good, good episode. Keep them coming. Like you said, uh, we want to see that balance. We want to see the good side of Montel as well. Yeah, because I know what's there. Other than him being a successful businessman, what what else is he uh, bringing? Yeah, if we're <laughs> able to see that with muscle. Show that, yeah. Show yeah. that to us. Because yeah. you know, we, we hated that joke. Yeah. I could not stand. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with muscle? Yeah, I was like, what kind of prehistoric <laughs> bullshit is, is this? this? Yeah, you know, you talk to your wife like that and everything. And I say, it's something with this five-year play that got him like, on lock because yeah. he has the personality like I have. If we are locked and loaded and we're working towards something, let's stay there. Let's stay there mm -hmm. until we get a good grip on it. Then we can renegotiate. So exactly. like, what is this? But it's almost like an 18 wheeler. They have to start downshifting miles before they get to the turn. Cause if you start trying to make a turn, a right turn, ain't downshift, you Boom. hit that turn, you're gonna turn that, that 18 wheeler over and end up killing some people. That's how your plans is. You gotta downshift months in advance before you make a huge turn. Hmm. We got a heavy load. Hello. And they're a little heavier now. Yep. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.